I'm gonna play the career of Slatan Ibrahimovic from the very beginning. I've made him 18 years old, given him his FIFA Odoo overall and potential. And over these next 10 seasons, we're gonna see how many goals, assists, and trophies Slatan can win. But here's the twist the wheel of career mode is gonna decide which club Slatan joins. And because we know Slatan to be a bit of a journeyman, every season the wheel is gonna give Slatan a new club to conquer. Let's spin the wheel now and find out which is gonna be Slatan's first club. We've got some good clubs on the list like Ajax and all, but it is gonna be Schalke, I think. Yup, it is. Zlatan Ibrahimovic to Schalke. And so the first club Zlatan's joining in today's video is gonna be Schalke. Alright guys, the wheel is decided and we've got Zlatan Ibrahimovic at Schalke. These guys are bad though. Like, they're literally the worst team in the Bundesliga. And Zlatan's 66 rated, but the good thing is he's like the second best striker in the club, so I think Zlatan should be able to get some game time in his first season. By the way, I've taken Zlatan's overall from FIFA 02. How crazy is that? He's been in FIFA for 20 years now. That is just mental. But yeah, in this first season, I kind of want to see Zlatan to grow in his overall. If he does, we can add better clubs to the wheel. So let's see how this first season goes. By the way, Zlatan has never won the Champions yeah. League in real life. I'm curious to see if the Wheel of Career Mode can help Zlatan win the Champions League. Well, obviously not at Schalke, but in the future. And so we get to the end of the first season and Zlatan went up by three overalls. That's not too bad. 69 overall now for Zlatan. But he only played seven games, but he did get one goal, which isn't too bad. Remember, it's only his first season. Yikes, I don't know about trophies, but Zlatan's getting a relegation on his CV. This is bad. So just one goal for Zlatan and a relegation on his CV. Not the first season I was hoping for. Well, the good thing for Zlatan is he ain't gonna be sticking around in the Bundesliga too. Every season he moves to a new club. Let's see where the wheel is telling him to go. Okay, it's time for Spain for Zlatan. Malaga is the next club. And so for 3 million, we've got Zlatan joining Malaga. That's his next destination. All right, season two at Malaga. They've given us like the number nine. We'll take that. We're 70 rated as well. I think we need to put ourselves on a development plan to help us out even more. I reckon the poacher wants the best. We need to get Zlatan's rating as high as possible fast because that's when we'll get better clubs on the wheel. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize Malaga are Bruh. in the second division of Spain. So we did end up getting relegated. Ay, ay, ay. This is bad. Or actually, it might be a good thing because we're the best striker here. That could really help boost Zlatan's overall. Football is not an individual sport. I think Zlatan needs a bit of help. And so every season, we're going to allow us to sign one player to help out Zlatan. But here's the catch. That one player needs to have been a former teammate of Zlatan. And so we've got Simon Kerr joining Zlatan Ibrahimovic to help him out. He's actually 81 rated. I know he's 34, but they played together when Zlatan was in AC Milan. I think he could be a really good help. Let's put him into the team and let's see at Malaga how well can Zlatan grow. By the way, just a fun fact, if Zlatan ends up winning the league this season, that's going to count towards a trophy. So let's hope he can pull it off. That's more like it, guys. Zlatan Ibrahimovic goes up by six ratings this season and he scored 10 goals and got an assist that is still less but not bad wow that was still not enough to get malaga promoted oh my god that is that's actually bad two seasons and slatan's been pretty average but after two seasons slatan's on 11 goals and one assist no trophies yet but hey slatan is still in his early ages now since slatan went up by six ratings we've now rewarded him by adding man united on the wheel but the chance to get united is still very slim let's see where slatan is heading next. Oh, it could be Man United. No, it isn't, but we're sticking to Spain, and it's Espanyol next. And so for season three, we've got Zlatan Ibrahimovic joining Espanyol. Kind of feel bad for him. In real life, Zlatan was playing for Inter Milan, Barcelona, Ajax, and all these historic clubs. We've got the poor guy playing for the bottom yeah. feeders in La Liga. But hey, that's what the Wheel of Curremo can do to you. I think if Zlatan wants to be joining better clubs, he needs to skyrocket in his overall this season. The good thing is he's the best striker in the club. We're going to keep putting development plans on him as well. And also, he's back playing in the top five leagues in La Liga. So this is a good opportunity to get himself known. To help out Zlatan Ibrahimovic, we're signing another former teammate of his. And this time, it's David De Gea. Had to go a bit crazy with the teammate because we need Zlatan to start performing and skyrocketing in his overall. Oh, wow. This is insane. Zlatan went up to an 81 overall in just three seasons from 66. Yo. And this was his best season yet scoring 23 goals and two assists oh surely we're gonna have some big clubs joining the wheel okay it was literally a one-man job though because espanol didn't do anything in la liga it was just latan so after three seasons we've got Zlatan with 34 goals
goals, three assists, but no trophies. That needs to change. Since Zlatan is now 81 rated, he's had to score in 20 plus goals. We've added three big teams onto the wheel. Dortmund, Chelsea, and Inter. And along with Man United who were there previously, now there's a good chance we could see Zlatan making a big move. All right, I'm spinning the wheel. Where's Zlatan going for season four? He deserves to be at a club to win trophies. Oh, I thought it was going to be Inter, but Ajax might not be bad to win a trophy for the first time. Up next for Zlatan Ibrahimovic is Ajax. We've made a move there, and this was a record-breaking transfer, by the way. 103 million for this. I think because of how good Zlatan has become now, he's like 82 overall. There was no way he was going for cheap anywhere. From now on, the transfer fees are going to be crazy for Zlatan. Look at that. 82 overall, 92 finishing. His stats are now crazy. Might need to start putting him on a bit of a different development plan to just get all the other stats up too. Oh, he's definitely playing in probably the best team he's played in yet. Gonna be in that striker role. This team is much better than before, but I think we need to bring in a former teammate of Zlatan. Okay, I didn't know this, but Kim Pembe and Zlatan actually played together. Maybe it was for the youth teams at PSG, something like that. But for like eight games, they were on the pitch together. So it counts and we've just signed Kim Pembe. Can't lie, that's some solid help for Zlatan and let's see how he does with Ajax. We're at the end of the season and this is the first time Zlatan actually stands a chance of winning trophies. Has Ajax won the league? Yes! Zlatan gets his first ever trophy. Oh my days. And he was unbeaten in the league too. Oh, that's two trophies. Now he's won the cup as well. Now we're talking. Fun fact, this is also Zlatan's first year in the Champions League and Ajax finished second in the group. Third in the round of 16. Man City slapped them silly. Fair play though. Okay, now things are getting a bit spicy. Four seasons in, Zlatan is 86 rated. Oh, look at those stats. 29 goals and a couple of assists as well. We move. And now Zlatan's starting to make a name for himself. 63 goals, 5 assists and 2 trophies. Surely the wheel has got big plans for him now. If you guys want me to do this video with another player, I need y'all to subscribe to the channel. For season 5, of course we're going to reward Zlatan. He's now 86 rated and so we're adding 3 big clubs more to the wheel. Look at the quality of clubs that are available. It's Zlatan's big move now and where could he possibly be heading? Let's find out. Oh my days, it's Manchester United. That's a club, by the way, Zlatan did play in real life. It was sadly a veteran Zlatan, so Man United didn't get the best out of him. It's taken us five seasons, but we finally got Zlatan at a big club that can, I guess, satisfy his ego. Zlatan Ibrahimovic for 200 million, he's now at Man United. Oh wow, the Manchester United team is very decent, and Zlatan's got a bit of competition here with Harry Kane. This is gonna be a bit problematic. Zlatan is 86 rated and Kane is 88 so naturally they're gonna make Kane a starter more often. That's gonna really dampen Zlatan's chances of growing. I think we're gonna give Zlatan a new role. I'm curious to see how Zlatan plays in a two striker formation. It's a new way to adapt from playing alongside Harry Kane but bro this team is good and it might be the first chance for Zlatan to maybe win even the Champions League. Remember we get to sign one former teammate of Zlatan and over here I think we we need a right back. So we've gone ahead and signed Dalot once again to Man United. He's 86 rated, same as Latta. So this is Latan's team for the season. Let's see how he does playing for a top level club for the first time. Remember guys, the way this challenge works is that we can only stay at a club for one season. So Latan's got only one chance to shine at Man United and win trophies. All right, we're at the end of the season. This is Latan's like first real chance of winning the Champions League. Come on, with Ajax, there was no way he was going to do it. But we we start off our Champions League second in the group, which isn't a good sign. And we end up getting knocked out by Atletico Madrid. You're kidding me. We had one shot at winning the Champions League with Man United and we kind of bottle it. Okay, no Carabao Cup. I'm starting to think we're not going to win any trophy here with Man United with a very decent team. We end up finishing second in the league. Zero trophies for Man United. That, 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 that's not the Slatan way. But hey, on an individual level, he went up to an 89 overall. The growth has been so Oh, oh, okay, okay. 
Okay. Goals wise, his best ever season. 37 goals and 3 assists. Slatan has become the big dog now. That's the best way to put it. We still need him to win bigger trophies. But guess what? He can't do it at United. We're going to have to see where he goes next. So after 5 seasons, we've got Slatan on 99 goals and 8 assists. He needs to be assisted more, but you know what? 99 goals makes up for it. But the trophies though, he's only going to be heading to big clubs and more bigger clubs are going to be added to the wheel. So let's hope he can start winning the big trophies. We now have Man City and PSG added onto the wheel, but where is Zlatan going to be headed next? This is going to be very interesting indeed. Oh, I'm kind of not happy with this. If we want to see Zlatan win in the Champions League, it's, it's got to be better than Dortmund. But hey, the wheel has got plans and we just got to trust in it. I'm trying to sign Zlatan to Borussia Dortmund. He's 89 rated, 23 years old and costing 122 million. This is going to be crazy. How much is Zlatan going to go for? Wow, we just got kicked out. Ultimately, this offer costed more than 200 million, but Zlatan is joining Dortmund. Fun fact, the Bundesliga is one league Zlatan hasn't nope. won, so it's going to be interesting to see if he can do it with Dortmund. All right, guys, I can't lie. I didn't expect Zlatan's team to be this good. We might genuinely have a chance to win a Champions League over here at Dortmund, which would be epic. Since I cannot sign the same teammate at multiple clubs, we go for David Calabria, a player Zlatan played with at AC Milan. He's not the best, but he's 83 rated and will do. It's time to see Zlatan win some more trophies, man. Two trophies in five seasons, not good enough. He's 89 rated now. Let's see what he's all about. Will Zlatan Ibrahimovic get his Champions League this time around with a very good Borussia Dortmund team? They managed to top the group. Rana 16, they knock out Porto. They get through Inter as well, which funnily enough is a former Zlatan club. But in the semis, PSG, the club where Zlatan Ibrahimovic is one of the club's all-time top scorers, they knock us out. But you know what? Fair enough. Slatan managed to finish as the top scorer in the Champions League. Oh, this is brutal. By one point, Bayern get the better of them and Dortmund don't end up winning the league. So far, we've not won any of the top five leagues for Slatan. I feel like the wheel has been brutal with Slatan. We're not even in the cup final. Another trophy less season. Overall wise, there's no denying Slatan is surpassing everything. 92 rated now. And he's managed to score 31 goals, which is incredible. 130 goals for Zlatan and 9 assists, but only 2 trophies, and let's hope the Wheel of Career Mode can help change that. The Wheel of Career Mode now has even bigger clubs for Zlatan. This is his moment. I'm really hoping he gets like a Madrid, a Barca, something like that, where you know he can win trophies, and it is gonna be Barcelona. Now we're talking Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Barca. And so we've got Zlatan Ibrahimovic joining Barca Barcelona, just like he did in real life. Hopefully things go better this time around because the last time he was at Barca, he didn't really see eye to eye with Pep Guardiola. But hey, now Xavi's the manager. It's got to be a bit better, isn't it? Can't lie. Slatan is playing with ballers here at Barcelona. Ferran Torres, Fati, Petri, Rodri, De Jong. Well, this team is a bit insane. The only improvement I can think is maybe a better centre-back. And so the former teammate we bring in is Marquinhos who played with Slatan quite a bit at PSG. And Marquinhos is 90 rated. I'm feeling it, guys. This is the club Zlatan wins the Champions League. Well, Zlatan didn't really go up much in his overall this season. Maybe because he's 25 now. Regardless, he scored 31 goals and got 5 assists, but it's meaningless if he can't win trophies. But yes, guys, Zlatan ends up winning La Liga with Barcelona. That's big. Only one shot to be at Barcelona, and he's made the most of it so far. Oh, come on. They lost the Super Cup final. That is such an L. And the Spanish Cup final as well. Only one trophy. No way. AC Milan, his real-life club, knocks him out in the Champions League. I don't know if it's been a successful tenure or not at Barca, but oh well. 161 goals for Zlatan after seven seasons. I'm kind of losing hope for that Champions League. We still have more attempts, so let's see what happens. Only some of the very big clubs remain on the wheel. Where is Zlatan going next? Where is he going to try and win the Champions League? Oh, okay. He was at Dortmund, but now he's heading to Barca. Bayern Munich. Could Bayern Munich be the club that gets Zlatan a Champions League trophy? All right, so this Bayern team isn't too bad. You know, a decent keeper, good backline. Kimmich is there as well. Of course, Zlatan in the striker position. Fun fact, they've got another Ibrahimovic in the team as well, but this one is from Germany. Anyways, we've got one signing to improve the team, and I think this team needs a midfielder. A lot of Zlatan's former teammates have retired. Marco Verratti was one of the only good players available, but he's not good enough. The only other good teammate I found was from Kessius, so that's the 
player we've signed. He played with Zlatan when he was at AC Milan. All right, so that's how we've got this team rolling. Is is this good enough for Zlatan to win the Champions League? I don't know about that, but Bundesliga, we need to secure that at least. Guys, I'm feeling bad for Zlatan. I, I feel like he's not going to end up winning the Champions League. Ajax, his former club, end up knocking him out. But hey, Zlatan ends up winning the league with Bayern Munich. That's another league title for him and his fourth trophy. Ah, I feel like he should be winning a lot more. Maybe it's because he's been a journeyman in this one. Still, Zlatan Ibrahimovic goes up by one overall. Not bad at all. Maybe Bayern wasn't the right club for him. He only scored 27 goals this season. Zlatan is so close to 200 goals, but only four trophies. I'm still hoping in the last couple of seasons we can win the Champions League. It all depends on what the wheel of career mode has got in store for Zlatan. Is the wheel going to send him to a big club? Chelsea is not too bad at all. After that unsuccessful spell at Man United, it's the first time we're sending Zlatan to the Premier League. So let's see how he does at Chelsea. This Chelsea team isn't too bad, having Havertz, Madueke, Pulisic, Militao at the back, but the defense does need a bit of help. Ibrahimovic played with Tomori at AC Milan, and so we end up signing him. A 90 rated center back coming in to help out Zlatan this season, I reckon, could be interesting. I think we've definitely maxed out how good Zlatan can be at 93 overall. But, bro, on the pitch, his first season back in England, and oh my god, 41 goals and 11 assists. That's his best season ever. He wins his first ever Premier League Golden Boot, breaking Mo Salah's record as well. That is outrageous. Of course, he was going to win the Premier League with that. That's trophy number five. Talk about winning the FA Cup as well. Trophy number six. Make that seven because he gets the Carabao Cup, a domestic treble. What about the Champions League? Wait, what? Chelsea weren't even in the Champions League. No way. They weren't even in the Europa League too? My God. That is unreal. Zlatan's just unlucky, man. The Champions League just might not be in his destiny. Well, individually, Zlatan has crossed 200 goals now convincingly. One season to go. One last chance for the Champions League. It all depends where the wheel of Kuremo is going to send Zlatan for the final season. And it is going to be Paris Saint-Germain. PSG. This is it. And so for the final season, Zlatan Ibrahimovic ends up joining PSG. It's fitting because that's the club where he spent a lot of years at. Ooh, and with Kylian Mbappe alongside him, this might be the club where things could end up happening for Zlatan. To help Zlatan out, we signed one last former teammate and that's going to be Lucas Paqueta. Tell you what, this team has what it takes to win the Champions League. This is Zlatan's moment. Last chance for Zlatan to win the Champions League and his team has stopped the group. Let's see if Zlatan and Mbappe can get the job done against RB Leipzig in the round of 16 and yup, they do. Should be easy pickings down the second leg. Yup, exactly. Oh, it's getting a bit spicy now. Chelsea, Zlatan's former club. Can we get through them though? Yes, we can. And Zlatan scored. What about the second leg though? A lot's resting on this game. Can Zlatan make it to the semis? Just about. Let's go. Oh my god, it's now Manchester City for Zlatan. His final season to try and win the Champions League. It might just be possible. Come on, Zlatan and Mbappe need to get the job done against City. Will they do? Oh, it's a draw. Everything now decided by that second leg. This is the last chance Zlatan has to win the Champions League. Can he get the job done against City? Yes! He actually ends up scoring too. And so it comes down to this. Zlatan has a chance to win the Champions League with PSG. Oh my days. Meanwhile, he's out here winning the French Super Cup. That's trophy number eight. Wow. wow. They actually bottle Liga. That's surprising. So it all comes down to this. If Zlatan can win the Champions League, that's nine trophies. He had to share the responsibilities with Mbappe, but still scored 33 times. But it's all down to this, boys. Can Zlatan win the Champions League for the first time ever? Yes, he can on penalties. He even scored his penalty. That is unreal. Nine trophies for Zlatan, and he gets the big one at the very end. Yo, he actually ended up scoring the goal in the final too. So we have Zlatan scoring well over 250 goals and also grabbing a solid number of assists and don't forget nine trophies. I have a quick question for you guys. Would you prefer this career of Zlatan with the Champions League or his career in real life where he's won multiple league titles at different clubs? Uh, definitely an interesting one. If you guys enjoyed this journey with Zlatan, then click somewhere to watch me do this with Gareth Bale.